Hey, what's up? It's Jake, and I'm here to talk to you about Terraform Cloud Policy Sets. Um, so this is a pretty cool feature. I actually kind of like it. I just did a test, and everything looked good. So uh, let's go ahead and dig into this. So a policy set is um, a rule or set of rules that allow very specific resources to be provisioned. So it could be a version of Terraform or an EC2 instance type or, you know, whatever. It could be on any cloud. Um, so the one that I set up, I actually, in my, in my GitHub account, I created a second repo. So whoever's building in my Terraform repo may not, uh, not have access, right? So separation of concerns. And this separate repo is a Sentinel policy sets for TFC, Terraform Cloud. And I have an AWS directory. And inside of there, I have three files. I've got a Sentinel file. I've got the file that actually, like a Sentinel.hdl file, which is required. And then every uh, policy that you create is going to be whatever you name it, dot Sentinel. And then I have a Terraform plan dash function Sentinel file that actually defines uh, the functions that are being run, which is a quite lengthy, very, very long file. Um, I just copy and pasted that from uh, uh, this repo that uh, this guy's got. It's really good. Um, he is, what is his name? His name is uh, Roger Beerland. Uh, great resource, uh, helped me get through this. So, but yeah, so I take this module Terraform plane functions that I got from him and I source it from within this very directory, right? So it's just saying, hey, the source of, uh, of this file is here locally. And then I'm saying uh, the policy name is going to be restrict EC2 instance type. And the source, again, right here locally in this directory, AWS, and there's three enforcement levels. There's a hard mandatory, a soft mandatory, and advisory. So hard mandatory means we will not do any Terraform replies unless all of these policies are met and there's a test and it passes. A soft mandatory is we'll allow you to build it on a case-by-case -case basis, but there's going to be manual intervention required for you to go ahead and approve that. And then you have advisory, which is kind of informational, where it's like, we'll let you build whatever you want, but we will log that, like, hey, it didn't pass this. So maybe you have some rules that are hard, like definitely hard mandatory. You might have different rules that are soft mandatory and different rules that are advisory. And so each policy inside of this Sentinel.hcl file can have different levels of enforcement, and you can use that to, um, you know, whatever use case you need. So I went ahead and just created one that basically is a hard mandatory that says do not allow anything to be built unless it meets the requirements of this policy. And we'll go ahead and take a look at that now. So here's the policy. And it's pretty short. And all I said is um, uh, import this function right as plan. So um, as part of the Terraform plan, it's going to import this. And the only allowed types I'm going to have are T2 micro. So basically anything in my repo that's not T2 micro, it'll fail. So this is kind of a safeguard for me to go if I accidentally choose, you know, some crazy expensive uh, instance type. This will kind of safeguard me from that. It also controls costs. So if you're uh, if you have somebody in compliance, auditing, security, whatever, that's going to be managing what the requirements are, they can manage this repo and manage what the requirements are, and your developers can push code against, uh, you know, whatever branch or main or whatever they're doing all day long. Um, but Terraform Cloud has Sentinel there to be able to say, hey, you're allowed to do this or you're not allowed to do that. So it's kind of nice. Um, so I'm saying you're allowed to do this and then I'm going to get all the instances and I'm going to filter them and list any violating instances that would be um, not allowed. And then it'll count them and then I have a main rule where violations is zero. So um, so that's the three files I have. I have my Sentinel file that says which policies are going to run. Um, and I have a Sentinel file that defines where this module lives. And then I call that uh, module in order to run my actual policy. And I can create as many of these as I want. But I just created one that restricts the EC2 instance type. 
So we'll see what that looks like. So inside Terraform Cloud, you go to Settings, and then um, if you don't see this integrations thing, go up. Uh, you probably have an Upgrade Now button or something right here. Go ahead. You can do a 30-day free trial, and then it'll revert back to free. Um, and once you do that, you'll get these options, and uh, you'll click on Policy Sets. So in Policy Sets, you're going to create Connect and uh, a new policy set and I created one here um, and if I open this this is pretty much what it looks like but this is just my AWS policy and I could create multiple or whatever but this one just the sent a policy set for AWS resources and Terraform Cloud to restrict EC2 instance type to T2 micro um, I went ahead and connected this to my repo so if my security team is managing all the policies via code right so um, that will uh, be separately managed so the developers don't have access to this. And then it shows which commit um, this is up to date with. And then I gave it a policy path for slash AWS. So if I had a separate policy for deploying GCP, I could use the same repo and just have a GCP directory with all my stuff in it um, and create different policy sets for different cloud providers and different policies for different uh, you know, hosting providers. The default branch I have for VCS is just set to default. And um, I enforce this on all workspaces. So you can do that, or you can enforce it on selected workspaces. Um, up to you, but if you do that, it says uh, make sure you save. So just make sure you save, um, and that's it. I don't have any parameters to run at runtime. Um, we can just skip that part, but that's my policy. So if I go ahead and um, I'm going to make a simple change to a commented version, and then um, I'm going to do a push, and I've got my uh, automatic apply set up. So my git push triggers in Terraform Cloud. Go to my workspace. Updated version 1.5. And this is going to plan. It's going to start running some stuff. So the other thing you get with the uh, upgrade is the cost estimate, which will give you an estimate of how much it resources cost. Um, I think it's per month because it was like 9 bucks. That's what it was telling me. If I wasn't on free tier, it's probably about how much it would cost. So I didn't make any changes in my actual infrastructure, so the plan will run no problem. And then it'll go through the cost estimate, and then it'll do the policy check. And then if there was something to actually build, it would run uh, the apply. So I can see here, $9.03 a month would be the cost for my instance. And here's the hourly cost, the monthly. Um, if I were to change something like instance type or or something like that, and there was a delta, like it was more expensive, or maybe it was less expensive, it would tell you there as well, so you can see which commit actually saves money, which is kind of nice, right? Um, and then I have my policy check passed, and I can look in here, and it says, uh, one policy evaluated, restrict EC2 instance type, hard mandatory, result was true. So I use Sentinel and Terraform V2 import to require all instances have instance types from an allowed list, which we saw is T2 micro um, and the rule main. So that uh, that was it. So now, as I continue to build on this, um, I have a Sentinel policy set in place to ensure that I only use T2 micro instances, which is a really really great uh, little filter, a uh, little handcuff you can put on yourself. Um, and that's pretty much how that works. So if you see anything about Sentinel or anything like that. Um, that's what it is, and if you have questions about the syntax that I used to get um, these files, like these have very specific, they look very similar to Terraform, right? It's all HCL. Um, so the Sentinel is a little different, but um, when you're when you're building this stuff, there's like plenty of examples. For example, like here's a hard mandatory um, that I stole from the Terraform documentation. But there is a Sentinel page with an overview that gives you a whole bunch of information. So I will copy this and put it in the uh, in the body of the video for you, and you can check it out. So feel free to build some policy sets and uh, see if you can secure your landscape, control costs, whatever you need to do. Um, you can require pretty much anything. You can require something has tags. You can require it has versions. You can require all kinds of stuff. So uh, very cool. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to use it outside of, I'll probably just leave it at this and then move on. But 
Um, but yeah, so if you're wondering what uh, policy sets are, that's what they are. That's how they work. You've seen them in action. And uh, I guess I'll just see you in the next one.